Here's a close-up look at Comet 67P. Its overall length is 5 kilometers, and the larger of its two lobes is 4.1 kilometers wide. That might not sound like much, but here's what an object this size would look like if we placed it over a city like Toronto, Canada. The European Space Agency launched the spacecraft Rosetta in 2004. Its mission was to rendezvous with Comet 67P, deploy a lander called Philae to its surface, and escort the comet as it orbits the sun. Ten years later, on August 6, 2014, after getting several gravity assist velocity boosts and traveling 6.4 billion kilometers, Rosetta rendezvoused with 67P. Delay landed on the surface on November 12th, becoming the first spacecraft to land on a comet. Here we see the lander's big bounce off the comet with these pictures captured by its orbiting mothership. This is where it first landed. You can see the before and after pictures where Filet made its mark. But the harpoons that were meant to anchor it to the comet did not deploy. It ended in the shade and lost its power. But Rosetta continued to transmit for another two years before its power ran out as well. At that point, in September 2016, the Rosetta mission ended with a controlled impact into the comet. Here's the collision course into the comet from an altitude of around 19 kilometers. Rosetta targeted a region on the small lobe of the comet close to a region of active pits. Pits are of particular interest because they play an important role in a comet's activity. Transmissions continued up to the moment of impact. The comet is now beyond the orbit of Jupiter and heading for the Kuiper Belt. It will return with Rosetta's wreckage on board in 2021.